Hi, I'm Toby and I'm here to tell you about Divorce Lifestyle Design, a place to get information, inspiration, advice and guidance to help you thrive after divorce or separation. Often those who are divorcing are told that they'll get through it, that the best that they can hope for is to get by or recover. They're told that things will improve and that somehow and someday they will get back on track. When their worlds have been shaken to the very core and they don't know what the future looks like, it's easy for them to buy into this mentality and to settle for getting by and to stop aspiring for better than that. They may take comfort in the words that are offered and hope that they will eventually ring true. The danger is that they become fully bought into the idea that all they are entitled to do is to survive. They adopt the victim mindset and their identity becomes rebuilt around the idea that theirs is a life of weathering the storm and hopefully coming through it undamaged. They believe they can do no better. The same philosophy starts to apply in all aspects of their lives, from their future relationships, their career, and in the raising of their kids. The benchmark becomes to aim for just about enough and nothing more. I'm not describing this to knock people down at the point at which they're at their lowest ebb. However, my philosophy on the matter having been through it myself and having experienced it as a divorcee and having seen it from the perspective of many others in a similar situation is that divorce shouldn't just be viewed as a challenge that you must get through and you may eventually survive. I believe it's actually a landmark in your life, a rare point where you have a golden opportunity to start fresh and design the ideal lifestyle built around your core values. You don't need to aim low and you don't need to be stuck on a path that was potentially taking you off target from where you wanted to be. Divorce is the chance to decide what you really want in your life and to plot a new course that will take you to those places you want to get to and to achieve the things you want to achieve. You don't have to be stuck in a rut, supporting role to someone else's lead. If you have kids, it is of course going to be upsetting for them, but it's also a good chance to figure out exactly how you wish to raise them, either alone or jointly with your ex, and to decide how you want their needs to be met in future. It also shows them as an adult, you are taking ownership for managing your own happiness. In spite of an unconventional childhood raised within a divorced family structure, my daughters have had and received more than emotional support, guidance, nurturing, attention and care than I believe most receive in a conventional non-separated family. In this way, I've learned that designing the ideal approach rather than just bending and surviving can actually demonstrate real results. As such, I advocate divorce as a means of evaluating and redesigning your ideal life. Your goal should be to thrive, not just to survive. The main contributor to this is as follows, it is all about mindset. When you focus on getting by and on survival or recovery, that is exactly what life will ensure that you do and get, and nothing more. Of course, your life will go on, your kids will be loved, you will hold down your job, both you and your ex will get through life, but that is about the extent of it. That is, of course, unless you are willing to open your mind to the fact that you can take the choice to completely reevaluate exactly what you want to do and to then design your ideal life so that you can go ahead and achieve it. It is that mindset I can help you achieve. This isn't simply me telling you what any, that anything is possible if you can just believe and to be positive. It's not about a magical system or formula that guarantees results, regardless of what you do. What it is about is me sharing with you what works based on my own life and in my own experience over the last 10 plus years. I want to demonstrate to you that you can set out to thrive rather than just survive and make it a reality. I look forward to sharing more with you. Thank you and have a great day.